It should be number one on this list. I mean, I would look no further than myself, but you know what? It's not me. I'm gonna throw a date at you. January 9th, 2022, fourth quarter. Matt Ryan, Saints bring four, back to pass, pressure again. He is gonna go down with the sack, and there he is, Cam Jordan. His 23rd career sack of Matt Ryan. In 22 games. His favorite man to sack. Yes, sir, Steve! Oh my God! What is that, the last time I sacked Matt Ryan? Is that going to be the huh. last time you sacked Matt Ryan? For like three years, right? I don't know the next time we play the Colts. Why do you have to go so far? It's so disrespectful. I got no call, no Twitter DM, no IG DM. I mean, there's so many ways I could have been reached. It's just like, hey, Cam, this ain't working out. I'm leaving. Cameron Jordan and Matt Ryan have a special relationship that has lasted for more than a decade. Down he goes! I watched him go. Jordan's 23 career sacks on Ryan are more than any player has sacked a single quarterback in NFL history. Cam Jordan, he has been a menace to Matt Ryan. Now I'm just like the bitter ex-girlfriend. I'm just like, hope you don't succeed. It's better to miss you than never to have had you. Better to miss you still. There's always gonna be the next favorite, you know? Jordan may already have his eye on someone new. There's a Tom Brady one, cause he got upset. Brady out of the shotgun, takes the snap. Saints bring just three. Brady in trouble, ball's loose, ball's loose. Saints got it. It's knocked out by Cam Jordan. Well, that's a big turnover. Huge. Yeah, I'm part of that. My toughest matchup this year, probably Cam Jordan. He lines up wide, and then comes just barreling through your face. He pushed the lineman into Tom Brady. I know what he's going to do, but I still got to stop it. He's very disruptive. Let me put this in perspective. Tristan Wirfs has given up one pressure. No sacks, no hits, one pressure in the last five games. And Cameron Jordan is putting on a clinic. He's pretty dangerous. He's been a, a force in the, in the league for a long time. Older and wiser in his 11th season, Jordan added something new to his game. I added patience to my game. When you go five, six games till I have my first sack, it's a whole lot of woosah. Like, <sighs> the Seattle game, that was the first sack of the year. Like, I needed it. Cam Jordan gets the sack. That is something a lot of Saints fans have been waiting for. This is a 17-game season. We're going to take this as it comes. And once they come, they come in bunches. So get yours, because I'm going to get mine. And things started getting real effective real quick. When they came, I mean, it was two a game, three a game, four a game. And he will go down. Jordan again, three straight games with back-to-back -back sacks. Get one, you get two. Get two, you get three. Move, move. Hey, Cam Jordan, feast away. Seven and a half sacks in his last three games. The biggest back end of the season that anybody that I've been playing with has had, and it was, it was phenomenal to watch. The way that he dominates his opponent is just a complete game changer. Vintage Cam. Why well, I keep hearing my name? What's up, little man? I'm in the middle of a game. It's quarter one. Toss it. Do it. What? I need a pen. I can't just sign it with nothing. Ugh. All right. I don't want to just be like a great run stopper in this league or a great pass rusher. I am the embodiment of both. I came to the league thinking I was going to be the most complete defensive end ever. And whether you tell me I am or not, Cash. in my mind, I'm always striving to be. <laughs> Talking to the NFL Top 100, I mean, it's great to be acknowledged, but at the same time, the prize is to be the best. How does that feel? <laughs> great. <laughs>